Hey guys, Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric. I want to do a quick video for you today. Uh, customer Joe gave me a call here in Loveland. Um, very, when I hear these calls over the phone, um, I'm trying to listen for a few, a few cute things that they had said. For number one, they said they had a mother-in-law suite, so it told me a uh, bigger home than normal. Uh, normal to me is like anywhere from 700 square foot to basically 2200. Um, when I found out the square footage, then I realized the area they were in, um, I realized they were up against the foothills, so it probably had a detached barn or a garage and it had all of the above. Um, does that really matter? Yeah, it can matter because uh, they had a sub panel to the basement, they had a sub panel to the garage, the sub panel fed then to the hot tub, um, they had a sub panel 100 amp going to the barn detached. And then they had a main 200 amp panel of four out aluminum inside of here, then to a disconnect outside of the house. So when he said to me the microwave had an issue, then the downstairs refrigerator and the second kitchen had an issue, in my mind I was thinking, oh, maybe there's going to be a neutral issue or a flickering going on with the A or B phase. Uh, they said they didn't feel like the lights were flickering, um, but I'm going to let uh, Joe here explain to you what exactly happened this morning and it's very important not to put off a service call like this and I'll explain why in a second. Hi, yeah, this morning I um, was getting ready to go to work in, in uh, Boulder and um, just getting ready to jump in the truck and decided I would uh, heat up some coffee. Um, so I stuck it in for about 90 seconds and disappeared for a while when I came back to get my coffee. It was hot and so was the microwave, it was on fire. So um, I didn't know where uh, to get you know something to put out the fire with I had to get my wife up to you know get some water we got some water on the fire got the, the main panel off got the fire out um, it smelled badly so um, that's when I said you know we need to call someone and see electrically what's going on here so that's when I called you guys great thank you um, so here's what happened um, we came over and you can't see the top of this because it's under the microwave um, but in here I could see there was something going on so Joe already had this off and I took out one screw and I could look up into this. Well, this is the magnetron and the magnetron actually heated up and burnt up. When it did, it melted the fixture wires here that was feeding power to your fan and your other, this is a cooling fan and no different than the EVAP fan in your fridge. And this is another fan that's circulating um, the exhaust. And then right under here is your magnetron your transformer, a capacitor, and a diode. When these, this high voltage system goes out, it's the secondary side of 120 volts. And what can end up happening is it can really get super hot. Um, the complaint could be it just doesn't heat. The complaint could be that I heard a big buzz and a pop, um, or you started smelling something. And in his case, he started smelling it, but it got so hot that it actually melted the cord in the cabinet just like that right here and then it melted through here, now affecting the 110 coming into the appliance, but again, all of it on the secondary side melting down. Um, so, real important that you don't leave an appliance running and defrost the chicken for 30 minutes and you go out to go to the store, or even in Joe's case for a minute and a half that you just took off and you had to go do something. In my opinion, real important, leave these things like that um, unplugged if you're on vacation don't need to have your microwave plugged in definitely wouldn't do it um, but when you're sitting at home and you have your appliances plugged in there's always a case that something can happen on a neutral or a leg and that can affect the house so anyways guys short video on this but definitely see how bad that was you did the right thing you got a water bottle squirted it out always have a fire extinguisher underneath the sink and check that every 12 to 24 months to make sure that it's charged properly um, but yeah this this is i've seen this a couple times before but not to this magnitude on the magnetron when it melted down. Um, definitely, another thing is that um, this home was in 2000, so the 2002 code up to the 2017. Right in 2014, we saw the arc faults implemented in the code for AFCI protection. Um, it started in 2000, now we're in the 17, but 2004. So this would have been great to have a, a square DQO great breaker, but it didn't sense it because it was on the secondary. So if the, the arc fault might have sensed that on um, AFCI protection in 21012, and that might have actually popped it rather than it smoking like this. Anyways, thanks for joining us, guys. Have a great day.